When iOS 13 was officially announced back in June at WWDC, Apple pointed out a lot of its new accessibility features. And one feature that really stood out and is really impressive is voice control. You can pretty much control your entire iPhone by simply using your voice. And so in this video, we're actually going to go over some of the things that you can do with voice control inside of iOS 13. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. So in order to use voice control, you'll need to enable it by heading into settings and then under accessibility, you'll wanna tap voice control. You'll have to set up voice control if you've never used this feature before, but it's really just looking at a few screens and explaining and going over what voice control can actually do. There's also an entire section devoted to customizing all of the existing commands, as well as creating your own custom command. If you wanna create a custom command, it's pretty simple. So for my example, I made one that inserts my home address whenever the phrase insert home address is said. And you can select what specific apps you'd like that phrase to work inside of, or you can just select any if you want it to work inside of all of your apps. Like I said before, voice control inside of iOS 13 is extremely powerful and it can be used just to control nearly every aspect of your device without having to ask Siri or physically interact with your device. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that you can do using voice control. Okay, so I have voice control up and running and I want to show you something real quick and that's how smart voice control is when it's listening to me maybe talk to somebody else with my phone on and when I'm actually talking to my phone. So what I mean by that is if I wanted to swipe left or right on my phone uh, using the voice control command, it actually didn't pick me up saying that command. It kind of knew that I was not talking to the phone. But if I wanted to, for example, swipe left, I will tell my phone to swipe left. So here we go. Swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe right. So as you can see, as I was saying those words over and over again when I was talking to you, it didn't actually pick up on the phone, but when I was focused on the phone, it somehow just knows between us that I am talking to the phone and not to somebody else. So that's pretty cool. And of course, there's other things that you can do on your home screen, uh, all the basics like show control center, go home, show notification center, Obviously you can interact with other apps and open them as well. So if I wanted to say open Twitter, scroll up, scroll to the top, scroll down, scroll down. Now, if I wanted to do something with a tweet, let's just say I want to retweet it or like it, I can do that by bringing up some extra options. And to do so, you have to say show numbers. Okay, so now there's a bunch of different options that I can do and uh, what I need to do, I can either say tap or press and that will actually select one of the numbers on screen. So if I wanted to interact with tweet number seven, I can say tap seven, show numbers, tap six and it just liked a tweet. So if you wanted to send a message to somebody, you can do so very easily by opening up the Messages app. So what you wanna do is say, tap Kristen Barbera, show numbers, eight. So now it's actually recording everything that I say immediately once the keyboard is up. So I'll show you how to select all and cut things out and then I'll send a real text and also show you how to delete words. So. As you can see here, when I stop, here is all of the text. Replace when I stop with the moment I stop. Do you want to go to a movie tonight at 6.30 p.m.? Replace 6.30 p.m. with 5.30 p.m. Tap send. So as you can see here, voice control is pretty incredible and it's a pretty useful tool as well for people who may not be able to physically interact with their phones. And Apple even made this feature available inside macOS Catalina 2 for those who need to control their Macs with their voice as well. There's obviously so many things that you can do with this and there's so much to show that I couldn't really do it all in one video, but if you have any specific questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment section as well as what you think about this feature in the comment section down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this in the future. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.